So yesterday we have derived this one expression for radius, radian square z, and this was R naught, and value of R naught was nearly 0.529 angstrom. This was velocity z over n, and this was coming nearly 2.2 or 2.3, whatever it is, 10 to the power 6 meter per second. That was the speed of electron in first orbit when z is 1, n is 1. Here also, that was the radius of first orbit of hydrogen, R0. Now, today we shall derive expression for energy. So, when electron is revolving in any orbit, Suppose electron is revolving in this orbit, radius is suppose Rn we are taking, velocity we have taken Vn, this is Vn, this is Rn, that is nth orbit, and maybe 1, 2, 3, that is principal quantum. Okay, so what will be the, first we will find kinetic energy, then potential energy. So to find kinetic energy, what we will use? So this mv square over r is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Centripetal force is the force of attraction between these two, nucleus and electron. So ze into e over R n square, here also R n we can say, B n we can say, no problem. Or simply V and R you can use, no problem. The force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron will give necessary centripetal force. Centripetal force, mv square over r, mv square over r is the force of attraction, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, q1, q2 over r square, q1, charge of nucleus, that is ze, because z protons are there, atomic number, another q2 is electron, So this force of attraction will take place. That means this MVN square will be, this RN will be cancelled. So ZE square over 4 pi epsilon naught RN. Now, we require kinetic energy that is half mv square. So, if we write half, this side also we have to do half. That means this kinetic energy of electron will be 1 by, we can give the symbol, okay, e k, 1 over 8 pi epsilon naught. Z e square over R n. We can substitute the value of R n. Afterwards, we will substitute. First, we will calculate in terms of R n only. Now, what will be the potential energy? Potential energy of electron. One by four pi epsilon naught. As the electron is revolving in the field of this field, which is created by nucleus. So, charge into potential created by this nucleus. So what is the potential of this nucleus? 
1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So potential to this nucleus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Get E over R n. This is the potential which is created by this nucleus. How we find potential energy? Charge into potential. What is charge? Minus E. Understood this part? Potential energy of electron, potential energy of any charged particle in electric field. How we calculate? We calculate by charge into potential at that particular point. So this one will become ZE over Rn into minus E. So potential energy of an orbit may be this is minus Z E square over 4 pi epsilon naught R N. Sometimes kinetic energy is given, you are asked potential energy. Sometimes potential energy is given, kinetic energy is asked. What is the relation between these two? What is the relation between these two? This potential energy will be how much? Here you are getting 1 by 8. That is kinetic energy is half of this one. Minus. So potential energy minus. is minus of twice kinetic energy. Potential energy is negative. Kinetic energy is positive. Kinetic energy is always positive. It can't be negative. Always V square is coming. So kinetic energy is always positive. Potential energy may be positive, may be negative. But here it is negative. A negative source, the stability. So this potential energy is twice of kinetic energy with, with opposite side. Or kinetic energy will be, sometimes kinetic energy will be asked. So this is minus of potential energy over T. Now, if we add these two, we will get the total energy of the electron. So, what will come total energy of electron? So, total energy of electron. Suppose we are giving the symbol E will be kinetic energy plus potential energy E and we can give in an S orbit. So we'll add these two. How much you will get? One by eight. And minus 1 by 4. Rest everything is said. So it will become minus 1 by 8. Minus 1 by 8. Z is part. 8 pi epsilon not okay. Z is part over 8 pi epsilon not R n. That means total energy is, so this is our equation number 3. So this total energy will be minus of Ek. Whatever kinetic energy, same will be total energy with negative sign. Total energy become negative. What does it mean? This electron is in a stable state. It can keep on revolving. 
means this en is negative that means what will be electron is in stability or stable state that is it can keep on revolving around the nucleus unless some external force is applied or some additional energy is given or it loses some energy so it will keep on revolving this is the stable state it is stable equilibrium now if we substitute the value of this rn in this equation what we are getting So energy will become how much? Jd square with negative sign. Eight pi epsilon naught. And in place of R and we will write and square at the square epsilon naught is there. And square epsilon naught at the square. And here it will come. Jd pi m e square. Z square over n square. Pi is cancel. M e four. Seven not square. X square. Square. So when we solve this, you will get as it is energy in SI unit. You will find joule. When we will convert it into electron volt, the value is coming this much: thirteen point five eight electron volt. While solving numerical, frequently we use thirteen point six electron volt. The total energy is directly proportional to Z square. And inversely proportional to n square. So this total energy we got it is directly proportional to z square, whereas it is inversely proportional to n square. This is if n is same or n is constant. For hydrogen atom, Z is one. So, what will be the energy of hydrogen atom? E naught over n squared with negative sign. So, energy of hydrogen atom. Energy of electron in hydrogen atom. This E n will be minus E naught over n square. So here Z is one. If you are using Bohr's model for any other atom, then value of Z also we will consider. Now we calculate what will be the energy of different orbit, electron revolving in different orbit. So energy of electron revolving in first orbit.
So this E1 will be minus 13.6 electron volt. You can take 13.5 it also. Generally, we use the approximate one. Now, what will be the energy in second orbit? This E2 is minus 13.6 over 2 square. How much are we getting? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three point four electron volt. See the difference. First orbit minus thirteen point six. Second orbit three point four electron volt. So energy decreases magnitude. That means stability keep on decreasing. Third orbit. Minus 13.6 over 9, minus 1 part, 9 one not 5 here. Okay, 1.51. Fourth orbit. Minus zero point eight five eight five eight five. Five. <coughs> four, four. 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 Yes. Okay, so like this, we keep on decreasing. In infrared orbit, what will be? So this E infinity will become G. So representing this one as a line. If we draw a diagram that we call energy level diagram. So that line is representing energy, not the position of electron. So don't be confused. See the radius of first orbit, 0 0.53 something like that. Radius of second orbit will become four times that. Third orbit, nine times that. So how will you draw this diagram? That we call energy level diagram. So this is representing energy. And energy is negative, so Origin here, down will take. So this is in increasing order. So maximum energy is zero, which is here. Magnitude will keep on increasing this side. Energy is negative. Okay, suppose you are representing this is our four, eight, twelve. Okay, our first orbit is here, suppose. This is our first orbit. That is minus 13.6. Energy in electron volt we are taking. So minus 13.6 is here. So this is our E1, first orbit. N equal to 1. This does not represent orbit. 
this is representing energy now what is the energy of second orbit second orbit is coming 3.4 where it will come this is your 4 so it will be above this one so this is second orbit and equal to 2 this is the energy of this is not the position of second orbit don't be confused this gap what is it representing this gap is representing energy gap not the position gap the difference in energy will be 3.4 minus 3.4 or minus oh, so this is minus 3.4 Minus of minus thirteen point six. So, how much? Ten point two. So, ten point two electron volt is the energy gap. This gap we call energy gap. Or band gap. delta e or delta eg so this is your 10.2 electron volt that means this much energy will be either released or absorbed when electron jump from first orbit to second orbit or from second orbit to first orbit this is the energy gap not the position gap okay similarly the third orbit where will you represent 1.51 1.51 maybe suppose here it is 2 then 1.51 will come somewhere here okay this is 1.51 this is e3 so here we mark minus 3.6 minus 1.51 e4 0.85 so 0.85 may come here This is our E four, five four, five four. Like this is E five. Now E six, E seven. So we keep on. What is the conclusion you can draw from here? This energy gap will keep on decreasing. as we increase the number of orbit the energy gap keep on decreasing so this band gap or energy gap keep on decreasing so as we increase the number of orbit the band gap keep on decreasing so in the energy level diagram you have to show this type of diagram if you are showing suppose this is your energy level diagram and you are showing one layer and here one line here one line here like this that means your concept is not clear so you are not supposed to show energy level diagram by equally spaced line it is not equally spaced line so space is decreasing now on this line sometime you will be asked so emission line of the spectrum or absorption line of the spectrum so next we will continue from here